how far do you think the Panthers can go here, Steve? They really look uh, recast Great. on offense, right? How far do you think they can go? Well, uh, a couple of weeks ago, I said they need to play four quarters of football. They've done that. They they kind of messed up in the third quarter, but um, they're looking really good. Um, and Norv is really has his offense going. You know, everybody's talking. About, oh, he's revamped the offense. Norv hasn't revamped it. Norv has taken his system that was already implemented. I know this system. This system, it was um, Chud was came from where Ron was a tight ends coach, and who and Norv was a head coach out of San Diego. Then Mike Shula became when Chud went off to Cleveland. Mike Shula maintained the the offense. And then now Norv is the originator. Norv knows the X's and O's. He knows it. So why not have the guy who originated this offense? He's implementing his his deal on there. He's doing a great job, a lot of misdirection. But the thing is that's interesting with the Carolina Panthers and New Orleans Saints is the NFC South. They're doing well, but how is it going to go when these two heavyweights go at it for two uh one home game and one away game. That's what I'm looking for. And then you'll know who's going to be at the top of the leaderboard for the NFC South. Is it New Orleans Saints, Carolina Panthers? Yeah, it's week, going to be a great game. Week 15 and 17. Do you think you're, you're there in Charlotte? You know the organization. you think the change in ownership has given sort of a, a little bit of wind at the, the backs here? A little different feeling in that locker room? Uh, no, I mean, I'm not sure. I, I know I know, Mr. Tapper is, is going to implement some things, but, um, you know, this football team was a good football team already. Now I know he has allowed some players, Eric Reed, who they got at a bargain, who is, who's doing a phenomenal job back there. But I, I think you you will see the imprint and the fingerprint of David Tapper on this organization um, over a period of time. He hasn't even got started yet, so it's it's pretty exciting. But we're living. I live in the South, and sometimes change is not always accepted. Um, easily, but they will see, the fan base will see over time, it'll be for the better. All right, last one for you, Steve Smith. Best team in the NFL is, through nine weeks, is best team. Ooh. Yes. NFC, I would have to go to New Orleans Saints. AFC, I think it's a photo finish between New England and Kansas City. I like Kansas City because it's like, they're like a traveling uh, track meet. Man, them boys just go. They do. They really do. And how about New England sticking Cordero Patterson back there? Did you ever play running back, even in an emergency, Steve? Did you ever do that? Uh, yeah, I did that in college. Didn't work out too well. Stayed a wide receiver. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. He's running downhill into the end zone. It was unbelievable. Yeah, it's awesome. I mean, what Bill Belichick does is is unbelievable. What Tom Brady does is unbelievable. And Josh McDaniels. Um, hopefully, Josh McDaniels will not have the same success or lack of success that Matt Patricia is having in Detroit. So when he gets his opportunity, he'll be better. But, I mean, you you got Tom Terrific, 40, 90, 55 years old playing quarterback <laughs> and out there dropping dimes. And you got uh, Nate Peterman out there playing for the other team and Blake Borders making $18 million to hand it off to a whole bunch of plethora of running backs. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.